Hello, buddy. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Adrian, and today we're back on some more Dark Souls 2. Now, in the last episode, we beat the Throne of Want bosses, which was the Throne Watcher and the Defender. And before I realized it, it's 6 a.m. You can tell by the sun right there. But the thing is, after we beat them, nothing happened. But the problem is something is supposed to happen. So I think what I have to do now is I have to go to the Ruined Fork Road and go to the other door that had the, uh, the, the King's Passing thing. I only remember two doors off the top of my head. One of them was the Throne of Want, which we just went to. And then the other one was this one. Right now, we're at the point of the game where, like, we have a ton of souls like we just have so so freaking many i definitely should have gotten myself like some more twinkling titanite or like explored around a lot because i'm at the point where like our you know like even even though we get more souls we kind of don't need it like we don't need to level up our gear anymore unless we get twinkling titanite what is this like a gated community you guys got like boss water in here now i did search up this area on the wiki and apparently it actually has actual enemies compared to the other place that we went to which was thrown whoa whoa so right now we're approaching the end game of dark souls 2 which oh they, like a fire seed oh my god i wanted the fire seed dude our pyromancy is so good but like i said we're approaching the end of dark souls 2 which i'm really excited for but i also i don't know i'm kind of sad it's like a toxic girlfriend kind of like her kind of like this game you know dark souls 2 she's a she's a keeper hey close call huh sure i'll pull it ah oh, fuck oh fuck what is this place dude it's terrifying it's like everything in here is caged like it's like a collector of of of, of monsters Did, do you think this dragon used to be part of it they they had a dragon but then it like killed itself or something wait what is this who are you a murder in your spot sure i'll do it yes i see. i want you to kill a merchant named wait a ladder miniature doesn't he just sell it i know who he's talking about he's talking about the ladder guy that we talk to all the time he's really nice i'm not gonna fucking kill him dude i'm just gonna bring you the ladder ladder or ornament all right the spelling ring increases magic lightning fire and dark defense is there anything else in here man don't you dare what is this like wait wait hold on hold on hold on i'm gonna light this fire i don't think this was a message by it by a by a player oh man i thought it would Fuck. Wow. holy shit he's strong why is he so pissed bro <laughs> <laughs> what? Why did he spawn? Oh my god, that's so dumb, bro. <laughs> what? Oh shit, yo. No way. <gasps> no way! An illusory wall after I lit up a torch after the guy said, don't you dare. All right, well, that makes running around over here easier. That is so stupid, bro. Why are people so obsessed, upset when you light, up, light things up? Well, this looks like a boss fight arena. This looks really cool, though. What is it? Is this not the kite dragon? You know what? I feel like fire resistance should have been the one thing I shouldn't have not tested on the fucking dragon. Aren't dragons all canonically weak to lightning? Damn, how did they kidnap a dragon? How do you let yourself go like that, honestly? If I die, I'll put on the fire ring. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, this soul greatsword is my favorite spell in the entire game. We got the guardian dragon soul. Sick. Well, there was an item in there, but I'm not going to go bother getting that because that was basically the kite dragon from Heidi's Tower of Flame, just in boss form. And guess what? Because it was in boss form, it was easier to kill. I feel like this game is like such a weird difficulty curve. Everything is so easy now. Like we're so over leveled that the bosses are also really easy. Like before the bosses in every, in every other Dark Souls game was really, really hard. And I feel like the bosses have now been getting easier and easier and easier. I'm totally going to regret saying this. Holy crap, it's beautiful. And then there's just me. I thought everything got burned. I didn't know there was a beautiful civilization like this. I bet you, I bet you, this place, if we go down to this grassy ass area, they got the most fucked up ass things living there. They probably got some saber tooth tigers, some fucking grass dragons, dude. There's no way you got a perfect civilization like that without some fucked up ass looking motherfuckers. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe yes. Dude, please don't tell me I'm gonna get fire breathed on my caucus. Beast ahead. That means run away. Oh, hey, it's a chick. What's up, baby? You want me to kill it? Aged feather. The dragons welcome you? Dude, I don't know, man. I feel like I'm gonna die. So much for that. Oh, wait, what? Okay. 
Okay, that's sick. I'll give you that. Favorite area of the game so far. That is sick. The camera's changing because we're walking on the bridge weird. Um. Um. Dragon Shrine. You've got to be f***ing my ass, man. Oh, I've seen this before. They do like 1v1s. They will actually let you fight them. One is he shooting magic out of his... Look, the other guys won't attack you until you kill one of them. Who's next? Are you next? They really are friends, man. They're not attacking me. I'm gonna walk on past over here though. They kill you guys or you guys kill me. You respect me, right? Don't mind me. Dude, they're so cool. Dude, their armor, dude, they they dude, they look insane. This guy would totally fuck me up. Hey man, I'm on your I'm on your side. Alright, dude. I am on your side. Okay. What the Hey me like one of your French girls type of pose. Um You did not say that. Ashen Mist Heart. Delve into the memories of the Withered. All right, I think I then take this and go to the throne of the Want, right? And then I use it. God, how are you supposed to figure all this out? Dude, this game is so huge. I don't even know how I'm gonna structure the episodes now. I was thinking about doing like an, I, I was doing like an hour of footage and every time I kill like one or two bosses, that's like one episode. But dude, I'm just like, I feel like I'm running into so many bosses and doing so many things. I might do even long, either, either I'm gonna do longer episodes with more content or i might just do super cut down and just do all the highlights of the story because this is insane all right um oh my god i just read it and we have to go to three areas i did this wrong okay so we have to go to the forest of the fallen giants first so i think what i'm going to have to do is use this heart to go back in time or something and fight the memories of whoever i'm fighting oh it's this um oh Memory of Vamar. One cannot reside in memory for long. So should I like rush my way through? That thing is about to... It's a giant. Holy shit. It's a battleground. So there was like a war or something like that. Oh, damn. Um, I'll leave you guys to it. Oh, hey, man. Trust me, you do not want to mess with me. You want to break this guy to open up the door? You know what, man? You're useless. Soul of a giant. Oh, I can talk to him. Wait, what? Wait, what? Is that it? Soul of a giant. Oh. Uh. Cool. I guess I get the next one? I thought I had to fight a boss. Okay, so someone is telling me that the last area, or the next area to go, there's two of them. Go to the pursuer boss fight. Apparently, there's one upstairs. Yeah, no, I remember these guys attacking that statue. Wait, there's a- All right, let's go get this memory. And then we saw the last one already on that, like, ledge that we have to go to. So I'm assuming we have to go to that iron keep thing. All right, I think in here, we're gonna have to kill something again. Oh, hello there, handsome. I'm a time traveler, so get away from me. Oh, is that right there? Huh? I got it. Okay, cool. We just got to find the guy with the purple hand. Wait, what is this? How did I have never seen this before? I think I've been here before, but I can't point my finger on it. Oh, here's the last one. This one is sparkling though. Uh, hey, we've been here before. Wait, why does that one look so regal? Oh God. You've got to be Okay. Oh my god! I died to a bomb! I think people did say- I think I did see on Reddit that apparently this is the lost giant that we fought before. And that when we go back in time, his memory like carries over or some fucking shit like that. Firestorm. Firestorm. I can't see Jack, bro. I'm gonna cut up your ankles instead. Ankles! Ankles! Um... Uh... Ankle check. <gasps> Sorry, brother. Should have checked your ankles. Maybe if you checked your ankles. You would have lived. We got the soul of a giant lord, which I'm assuming is just gonna give us a, uh, it's gonna give us a, a fat stacks of souls or um, like a great sword. I'm not gonna use it just in case, but 
I'm gonna use this to level up my intelligence. All right, level 128, bro. Level 128. Our staff doesn't even scale for our intelligence as much as the other staff that we want to use. So I guess this is the end. Our entire journey led up to here. I can't wait to beat her and then do all of the DLCs. Stay calm, jump again, good luck. I actually tried this fight already by accident. And then I realized I wasn't recording, so I killed myself. Fuck. Fuck. Don't, what, fuck. Easy. That was so easy. Can't believe there's not even a second phase. Was I over leveled? Oh. What is this? Proceed to throne. Sure. Please don't tell me that ends the game, right? I think I, I I read it. I think it said that I have to just go to Majula to begin new game. What's gonna happen? Are they all gonna come alive and serve me as their their new king? Arise! Wake up, samurais! Oh, they're gonna make a bridge for me to walk to the throne? You who link the fire. You who bear the curse. You who gets no bitches. The cycle continues. Why do I always pick the cycle continually? Oh, I can pick to choose to, to embrace it or renounce it. Okay. Do I make the decision now or was I supposed to make it before? Look at me. Oh, yeah. The dark mage. Oh, we take the throne. Oh, we win these. Oh, yeah. And then they just lock us up, right? I kind of like Dark Souls 1 ending more. I probably picked... Did I pick the bad ending? I was expecting all of the giants to stand up and like salute to me. Get me out of this fucking shitty ass screen, bro. Wait, what? There's an extra ending that you can do? You have to kill Vendrick though? Can I still do this ending? Okay, 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 okay. So before before we before we actually, you know, wrap this up, there's a second ending called Leaving the Throne. The only way to get the throne is you have to kill Vendrick in the Undead Crypt. We saw him walking around, I think that one time and like, you know, we couldn't damage him. But I think now that we went to uh, the, the Keeper of all the uh, area whatever i think we now have the chance to fight him and kill him and if we beat him then when we go back we can use something called a bonfire ascetic which basically resets the entire area and puts it into new game but only that area meaning we can fight the throne watcher and defender again and then we can fight nashandra after and then after that we'll have the chance to fight all the uh, because we fulfilled all the uh conditions to i hate all of you guys that made this game what we are going to do now is I think we can go fight Vendrick, eh? We also have the souls of Nishandra, right? Oh, man. Okay, I'm hoping that when we do refight the boss, uh, the Throne Watchers and stuff like that, they'll be strong enough where we'll have a little bit of challenge, but not too much challenge because it'll be a new game. Hey, man. Okay, let's go back to the Undead Crypt and try to kill the uh, uh, King Vendrick. I think we should be able to just pop on in and kill him. I assume we don't have to do anything else. I hope so. If we do, that's going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, yeah, we never explored this area right here. Hey, man. I'm Agdane. Agdane. He sells stuff. Ring of Thorns. Whoa. Soul Spear? What? Soul Vortex? I'll use the uh, Soul Nishandra. How much is that? 30,000? Okay, that's a decent amount. Soul Vortex. And then I'll take Warm, too, because that's like a healing pyromancy. Thank you for that. Damn, I should have talked to him earlier. He got some cool-ass spells. Uh, that, I could probably test him out on the fight. Ooh, like the Aldia fight, because I'll probably need like uh, like stronger sorceries anyway. Besides, I'm only using the Dark Orb Hex, which I probably don't need to keep using anymore. Yeah, it's like really good. I think it's honestly my favorite spell. It's so versatile. They give you so many uses, and it does so much damage, and it's really cool. But I my main damage is my Firestorm, my Fire Orb, and then all of my, my you know, my Soul Great Sword and whatnot. And if I can use my staff that, like, you know, basically makes the damage on all of that way you know, way stronger. I'll just use that. All right, let's see if we can fight King Vendrick now. But I can't beat him. I can't fight him. How do I fight him? Oh. Oh. Oh, we're using the, 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 the Ashen Heart. And then we're going to go back in time. Oh, shit. Hello? Seeker of fire. Coveter of the throne. Oh, my God. It's King Vendrick. 
I am Vendrick, ruler of Drang Lake. You look sick. What the happened to you? Rises. Do you intend to link the fire? Then you yeah. must first prove your work. Seek it and your and your. I thought we were gonna fight him. I, I I thought I thought we were gonna fight him. Why did that happen? Am I supposed to like fight him? Did I did I take too long? Wait, you're supposed to have giant souls. Oh wait, I think I just I got I just got damage him. Wait, I think I need to fi fi go find some giant souls. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna like. Oh. Nice. Oh my god, dude, no damage. Oh, yeah. Let me go get them giant souls. So I'm missing two dry, uh, giant souls. I can get two of them, I think, by going to the Black Gulch. Black Gulch. Apparently, there's a hidden boss. Two giant boss, bo boss, boss, boss. Okay. Holy fuck. Oh, shit. Nice. Soul of a giant and a forgotten key. Wait, I need another one. I only have four. I think in order to get this last giant soul, I'm gonna have to kill that dra uh, that dragon. So I think I can end up, I think I can just kill the dragon and then get the giant soul and then use a bonfire ascetic for the dragon. And then if I really need to talk to the dragon again, I just talk to the dragon with the bonfire ascetic. Oh no, oh no. Oh my god, his HP. Yo, how the fuck am I supposed to actually do this? So it, so the way that Vendrick's HP and uh, reduction works with the giant souls is that every giant soul reduces his HP damage reduction down by, by like two. So he starts off with 32. Okay, I'm gonna be explaining the next parts of the video because I realized that I did not do a very good job of explaining it while recording because I was so mad that I even had to encounter this mechanic in the first place. So basically, if you don't know what I'm talking about right now in that clip, basically King Vendrick has a defense multiplier on right now that prevents you from fighting him too early on in the game and right now that defense multiplier is a factor of 32 so currently right now he has a defense of whatever his value is times 32 so we literally cannot kill him the only way to decrease that value is to acquire giant souls for every giant soul you possess it decreases that value by a factor of two so for example if you own three souls then it divides 32 by two by two and then by two again so it goes from 32 to 16 to 8 to 4 so then instead of having a 32 multiplier it has a four times defense multiplier so optimally you would want to have five souls because if you have five souls then 32 divided by two 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 would only just be one because two to the fifth power is 32. now the problem is for some reason scholars of the first sin makes it where you have to kill the ancient dragon npc which is a, a, a very optional boss fight in order to get the last giant soul whereas before i think you can use like a bonfire aesthetic to respawn some giants to farm the soul no it's not like that in scholars of the first sin you have to kill the dragon in order to get the uh, extra soul. Now, the problem of killing the dragon in order to make, uh, you know, Vendrix HP back to one times defense multiplier is that the ancient dragon is a very difficult boss fight. Like, it's not easy at all. It has a very large damage uh, da output. It has a very large HP pool. And literally, if you take one wrong misstep during the fight, you will die. Not only that, you literally need a fuck ton of damage. This ancient dragon boss has so much HP. And the only way that I was able to kill it was by using something called a toe cheese, where you basically hug yourself in his toes so you can trigger a stomping attack and whenever he triggers that all you would have to do is before he steps down you hop onto the other toe and do the exact same thing and this took me about 20 tries because this cheese was very not it wasn't hard to do but literally if you mess up one time you are very much dead so that's what i spent literally like three hours doing just fighting this boss and doing this vendrick quest line crap just to kill him i don't know it was it's insane so yeah that's 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 how i killed uh the ancient dragon and this is why we're doing it for vendrick so yeah but yeah with that being said we could finally take our one times regular damage reduction vendrick and we can actually fight him without doing like two damage and in this case I don't even want to show you the fight because it's so boring. All we did was we did something called like a butt cheese where if you literally hug Vendrick's ass, he will not do any crazy attacks. It was kind of a bummer because honestly, I, I, I wanted to fight him regularly. I genuinely wanted to. But after that whole ordeal with a fucking dragon and just grinding giant souls, it just made me sick to my stomach. Yeah, that's unfortunately the, uh, the Vendrick fight. We defeated Vendrick. We are... I think we're the king. So now that we've killed Vendrick, um, I think we have access to the secret ending or the alternative ending. Okay, wait. So we go to the hidden chamber here and then he should pop up where the rotten is at, apparently. Wait, what is this?
I don't think I've ever been in here. How have I never seen this before? Okay, my game is really low. Dude, this guy looks insane. Oh my god. So that's the real final boss. And then, oh my god, they leave a fountain here. We found this that one time. But we, I, oh, I miss this area completely. Okay, now he appears at the first bonfire of the undead. Oh, hey, man. Apparently, according to the wiki, he is the older brother of King Vendrick. All right, see you later. Dude, this is actually insane. Okay, and then the next area and the final area is the dragon shrine bonfire room. Oh, he's so tiny. Hey, man. Yes, no. Old ya. Dude, his voice is insane, man seek the throne okay now after you do that he will feel he will he will appear as a boss during the fight so what now i have to do is i have to go to the i need to go to central castle drang lake and i need to burn a bonfire ascetic this is going to reset the area allowing me to fight the boss again okay we're going to burn this this is going to trigger new game plus meaning now we're going to have to actually fight the uh, all all three bosses again we're gonna have to fight wait i did it in the wrong room we're going to reset it and we're now going to have to fight the guardian knights and those knights are going to be stronger now those two twin guys but we should be fine actually i would prefer to have some pyromancy on me i don't know how good this is gonna go because te technically this is a new game plus area i'm pretty sure i think that's what burning a bonfire ascetic does but this is what we're gonna need to do to actually kill them and you know get the actual alternate ending but the thing is i don't know if i can actually do it because i only have five estus flask and the only way that i was able to kill Nashandra was i spammed my estus because she cursed me so i don't think i'll, I'll have have enough dps to basically beat her i'll probably have to try this fight out see how much i you know kill them and then go back get a lot of more estus and then buff my estus before actually doing this fight if i keep dying i'm probably going to reset my stat allocation and then put all of the points that i put into faith put them all into intelligence i hope i genuinely hope this isn't a back to back to back boss fight though because that would actually kill me all right nice how much damage do we do right now all right Okay, it's just, the, can I just kill them and then leave? Or does this actually lead straight to the Nishandra fight? Ah, shit. Wow, there's actually an extra cutscene. Wow, there's two cutscenes. If you do it before, there's another one. Because we beat them before and then we didn't have the cutscene. This is the one that they show if you do it back to back. Oh, that's insane. Please don't blow up. Okay is Aldia back to back. Please don't be back to back. Many monarchs have come and gone. Oh, Aldia. One drowned in poison, another was shot into flame. Still another slumbers in the realm of ice. Is he talking about the DLC? Okay, Aldia's speech is kind of going hard. You It's not back to back, which is good. But that also means I'm gonna go level up. Why do we do no damage? Oh, there we go. Oh, when his fire is on. When he doesn't have the flame, he's weak. What is that? Um, dude, I do no damage. Bruh. 
Oh, hey. Long fight. I will remain here uh, patiently. The throne will certainly receive you. I like Aldia, he's a baller. But the question remains what do you want? Tell me. Can I walk Light away? Dark. I can walk away. I'm gonna walk away. Is this the other ending? Leave throne. Dude, Aldia's voice is so sick. Dude, I love his voice actor, bro. Oh, dude. And you've it insatiably. All right, bro. This is sick and the flames extinguished. Please don't make me watch the credits again. God damn it.